service is bad. Looks like my service is bad. I think we good. What is up, what is up, what is up? Good afternoon. Just hopping in here shortly. I promise I'm not gonna be in here long. Just wanted to hop in, answer some questions. I gotta keep my voice a little low. I'm staying at my brother's house right now. Traveled across the country all night. So, just wanted to hop in here, talk to y'all. Got some work to do. I'm laughing at all the comments lately. <laughs> I reposted a video on diabetes. Go look at the comment section. So many people. I am offended. I am appalled. I can't believe that you would say that you can heal something naturally. I can't believe you could, you would say something when you're not a doctor. <laughs> Yo, people are sick. People literally are sick. Sick in the head. Go look at how many comments of people saying, uh, you're not a doctor. <laughs> what you don't understand is, these people never understand, I would never want to be a doctor. <laughs> All doctors do is kill, prescribe harmful chemicals, pre prescribe chemotherapy, which kills way more than it heals, right? Prescribe harmful diets, because they know nothing about nutrition. They'll chop off a piece of your kidney just to test to see if you got kidney disease, right? Oh, this person might have kidney disease. Let's cut off a sliver of their kidney. That'll let us know if they have kidney disease. Oh, they didn't have it. Well, it's too late. We already cut off a piece of their kidney. These are what your doctors do. <laughs> you got y'all come at me and say, you're not a doctor. I would never want to be a doctor. <laughs> never, 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 never. Never, ever, ever. Doctors are sick. All they do is kill, right? Because out of 100 chemotherapy patients, they'd be lucky if 10 of them come out alive, right? Because we already know the numbers. If 100 people go through chemotherapy, it's lucky if 10 of them survive after three months later, right? You can look these numbers up. But yet that's completely legal, right? <laughs> these are the people you run to when you get a common cold. When you get a virus, when you get sick, this is who you trust. Oh, I got the sniffles. I got respiratory issues. I have a respiratory virus. What should I do? Take this shot in your arm with 40 chemicals that you have no idea what they are. <laughs> uh, yo, people are wild. People are wild. Right? Because there's no there's no cure for AIDS, HIV, herpes, cancer, diabetes, anything like that, right? We spend billions a year. We do all these walks, walk for cancer, walk for diabetes, walk for lupus. Hey, you're checking out, hey, would you mind donating a dollar for lupus research? Would you mind donating a dollar for cancer research? Billions, billions a year donate it. Donate it and raised for decades, right? And they haven't found anything yet, but they keep continuing to take this money, right? But meanwhile, this super deadly virus comes out, right? Oh, we got a vaccine for that already. Easy fix. <laughs> Yo. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. I've already posted testimonials, right? I already post testimonials daily. Traumatic testimonials. People that no longer got diabetes. People that no longer got cancer. People that no longer got hypertension. Right? I've already posted these testimonials, right? So don't get it twisted. Because you're comparing me to a doctor. Saying you're not a doctor. I would never want to be a doctor. And no doctor is posting these testimonials. <laughs> a doctor is having you come in, you get your appointment that you're all worked up about because you're scared for your life. You go to the doctor. And what does he say? I'm going to write you a prescription for this. I'm going to schedule this treatment for you. 
And then you're going to have to refill that prescription. Then guess what? You're going to do it another month. You're going to have to refill that prescription. You're going to have to refill that prescription. You're going to have to refill that prescription. Before you know it, 40 years have went by and you've been refilling the same damn prescription. Not only have you been refilling the same damn prescription, you've slowly, you didn't even realize he done put you on a second thing and a third thing. And now you got to take this pill at nine, this pill at 12, this pill with dinner, this pill right before bed. <laughs> but you think they're healing you. <laughs> uh, yo, it's a sad world. It's a sick world. <laughs> but you think they're healing you. <laughs> uh, yo, it's a sad world. It's a sick world. Sick, sick, sick. Sick, 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 which sounds like Six, 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 which sounds like evil, 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 which sounds like devil, devil, devil. But I don't deal with the six, six, six. So we know that six, six, six does not mean the mark of the beast. The only reason they said mark of the beast in the Bible is because the mark of the beast was considered a black person. So they considered a black person. Mark of the beast was the six, six, six. The only reason they considered that six, six, six because the amount of protons, electrons, and neutrons equals six, six, six. But let's not get too deep, right? Let me slow it down, right? Because that's all they were talking about when they were talking about the devil. The mark of the beast, 666, because two white people at the time, I'll say at the time, right, even though we know still to this time, somehow the same mindset, the black person was the devil, the evil. So therefore, the mark of the beast, 666, the amount of protons, electrons, and neutrons, they create melanin, which creates tan skin. I'm going to take it easy for y'all. <laughs> oh my goodness somebody says help us reverse diabetes please I've already posted testimonials I'm working with some people right now that's why we get dramatic testimonials but I already see they actually the second diabetes video I posted I see I just got notified from TikTok it got taken down this is what's happening to my videos Anytime my videos do big numbers, people start catching on, and I'm waking up the messages to people saying how much I helped them, new video gets taken down. New video uh, content violation. It's a content violation for telling somebody to take three plants. <laughs> They're taking down my videos for recommending three plants, but I can find somebody who has PhD in their TikTok bio, and they're recommending pills. And telling you that there's no hope unless you take these pills. There's nothing you can do naturally, but they didn't violate any. Yeah. This is what I did. <coughs> this is what I did with. Sick world. No, I would never recommend no damn keto for diabetes. What the hell? That's what I'm saying. These weird diets, like... <laughs> They got people like promoting your favorite Instagrammers and TikTok. It's, yo, they're spending millions for them to promote that stuff, right? Your favorite Instagrammers are posting. They're required in their contract. You have to post and say that this keto product, this protein powder is the most amazing thing. They're going to send them the script. <laughs> they have to post minimum four videos per month. They tell them what the script is. They post it. You not being a social media influencer, not knowing the business, you see your favorite Instagram or post that. And the script is so well written because they've spent millions on copywriters who write amazing scripts, who write amazing captions, right? And you see this, it's an amazing sales pitch, you buy it, and you think you're improving your health. Not knowing this is just another company making millions off of marketing something to you as healthy that's going to help you improve your health. Whether it's a diet, a keto diet, an Atkins diet. Uh, we know Atkins diets kill, kill thousands, right? Mm. Crazy, crazy, crazy. If you have vertigo, that's a neurological issue. You got autoimmune disease that is systemic acidosis. You got acids running wild because your kidney ain't functioning correctly.
thyroid. Bladder rack is an amazing plant for that. Autoimmune disease, I just mentioned, that systemic acidosis. You got acids running wild in your body. Stop eating acidic foods. You need to heal your kidney so it can regulate the acids that are in your body that we need to get out. I would love to get off depression medication. First, you got to get off the depression food, right? Because your doctor puts you on that medication. I damn near 100% will, I'm damn near 100% sure that when he wrote you that prescription for your depression medication, he didn't mention any of the foods, any of the ingredients that are triggering your depression, right? He didn't mention anything about the aluminum that you probably have a high amount of in your body. He didn't mention anything about the MSG. He didn't mention anything about the Red Down 40. He didn't mention anything about that because he doesn't know anything about that, right? All he knows is person comes in with depression. Oh, I was trained during my eight to 12 years of schooling. They got me that nice plaque back there that says I'm a, I got my PhD and I get to wear this nice white lab coat. I know that when someone comes in and says they have depression, I know that this is the chemical. These are the chemical pills that I'm supposed to prescribe someone to for that specific illness. I know nothing about the foods that trigger that, right? Because if someone comes to me with depression, if you come to me with depression, why the hell would I put you on pills with tons of other side effects to get rid of your depression, right? When I know damn well that the day you decide to stop taking them pills, <laughs> that I tell you helps with your depression, you're gonna be 10 times worse. That makes no sense, right? Versus you come to me, T-Walk, <laughs> with depression, I'm gonna ask what your diet is. We're gonna figure out what foods, what ingredients need to be removed, right? What things we can add, what things to never put in our body again, and never ever what I recommend a chemical to get rid of your depression, right? Sick, yo. Oh, you got depression? Here. So make sure you got insurance. You got depression. So that means we can technically say that's an underlying health issue now since you have to came, come to the doctor to get pills for it. So now we can write that as an underlying health issue. That'll make your insurance go up because if you have underlying health issues, you've got high blood pressure, cholesterol, any kind of mental illness, anything like that, we can say that you have, now your insurance is gonna charge you more to cover you. And we're gonna charge you to put you on these pills for the rest of your life, because you're gonna feel like you need them. Because if you ever have a day where you get down to your last pill and for whatever reason you can't get a hold of your doctor or CVS is having an issue and they can't refill your prescription on that day, you're gonna have a horrible few days until that prescription comes in. It's gonna be worse than before when you first came to the doctor with your depression, right? And I guarantee you, when you're taking them pills, you're still eating the same foods. But you clearly have hormonal imbalances, you clearly have chemical imbalances, which is a neurological issue. But let's not worry about fixing the neurological issue. Let's not worry about fixing the nervous system. Let's just put you on some pills. Weird, 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 weird. Very, very weird. <laughs> very strange. I'm just scrolling through comments. So yeah, I just wanted to hop on because I'm seeing the comments and it's crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. People will be offended when I recommend three plants. But are never offended <laughs> when they go to buy some white bread <laughs> and it got 10 ingredients in it <laughs> and white flour which is super high in starch which is super acidic which is causing mental illness which is cause causing issues which is causing diabetes <laughs> but i recommend three natural ingredients that come from the ground and this is offensive you should never do that you should not say that You never care when you have carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, sodium dioxide, sulfur dioxide, red dye 40, yellow this, green that, blue this, purple this. <laughs> In every 
item you eat and every item you buy. Soy this, GMO this, made in a plant with genetically modified, made in a plant with <laughs> cleaning your soybeans in an aluminum tank, which is getting all the aluminum in them. Like, oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. That never offends you. Because I can go to the grocery store right now and go to the health section. And every damn box, every package in that health section is going to have 10 to 20 ingredients. And you're only going to know what two of them are, right? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Many times you'll get a product that says it's a product. You turn the ingredients around. And in those ingredients, you never see the name of that product in the ingredients. So how is it actually that product? <laughs> and how is that allowed? <laughs> oh, my goodness. How can I afford holistic medicine? You have it all twisted. If you're dealing with holistic medicine, you're dealing with plants, which are a lot cheaper than those prescriptions your doctor's put you on. <laughs> right? What foods are bad for depression? That would be a 10 hour live. Of me literally saying ba 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 for ten hours straight, that would be the foods that are bad for depression, right? But simple is MSG, right? It's not the foods; it's in the ingredients, right? Because most of the times when you're eating the food, you're not even actually eating the food that you think you're eating. You're eating a combination of ingredients that somehow they've determined. They can legally label it as that food you were looking for. Because we know when it comes to MSG, there's over 20 different names for MSG that you would never know, right? Then they'll stand fortified on it. You think it's good. Oh, it's fortified with vitamin A and vitamin K. What does fortified mean? That means they added things to it that aren't naturally in it. Why would they need to add things that aren't naturally into a food <laughs> if it's a natural food and it's a real food? They're adding unnatural things into it because it's unnatural. It doesn't have anything it should have. <laughs> it's throwing off your whole body's genetic makeup because these genetically modified foods you're eating <laughs> and you're wondering why you say you have bad genetics. You don't have bad genetics. You're eating genetically modified food. So the genetically modified food is counteracting with your DNA. <laughs> you know, it's modifying your DNA. It's modifying your brain. It's modifying your metabolism. It's modifying your thyroid. It's modifying your kidney. Your genetically modified food is modifying everything in your damn body. But you think you got bad genetics. It's genetically modified your hybrid foods. Turns you into a hybrid hybrid being. You wonder why you don't feel like yourself anymore. You go to the doctor, like, I got depression. I just don't feel like myself anymore. I'm stressed out. I'm having panic attacks. I just don't feel like myself anymore. You don't feel like yourself anymore because you're eating hybrid foods that aren't themselves anymore. <laughs> so now they're turning you into something that's not yourself. Now you have mental issues. You can feel like you're outside of your body. You're having panic attacks because you're no longer yourself because you became a hybrid just like the hybrid foods. You become, your genes have become genetically modified from eating the genetically modified foods. It's really quite simple. And you get something that says organic stamped on it and you think it's amazing. Just because it's organic, it can still be hybrid and genetically modified. It can be organic and still have 50 ingredients you can't pronounce and don't know what they're doing. Right? When you should know. Okay, it's organic, meaning, okay, they may not have put as many harmful pesticides in it. But it still has all the harmful ingredients and genetically modified ingredients and hybrid ingredients and processed ingredients. But it's organic and it's fortified and it's natural and it's without soy free and it's plant based. <laughs> but you turn around, it still has tons of harmful ingredients and that's completely legal it's completely fine what do i eat real simple 
If it has more than four ingredients, when you turn it around, don't touch it. And if you can't pronounce all four of them ingredients, if you don't know what all four of them ingredients are, you don't put it in your body. It's really simple. Best brand of coconut water is going to be out of a real coconut. You get yourself a damn machete, you buy a full coconut, you chop the end off, you stick the straw in it, you drink the water out of it, and you take your spoon and you eat the jelly out of it. It's one of the healthiest things you can do. It's antiviral, it's going to increase your immune system. Tons of antioxidants, it's going to be great for your digestive system. It's going to get you all the calories you need, right? Safe as natural sweetener. I did a whole live showing you how to make your own date sugar. Dates are going to be the best sweetener. Nothing better. Lower on the glycemic index. Guess how many ingredients in that sweetener? One. A date. That's it. Stop dealing with white sugar, brown sugar. People really think brown sugar is healthier. Somebody commented, I thought brown sugar was healthier than white sugar. I thought brown rice was healthier than white rice. It's the same thing. The only difference between brown and white rice is the brown rice still has the outer layer of shell on it. That's it. There's no difference. It's the same exact thing. Literally. They're both high in starch, high in acid. But this world has made you believe that white rice is the healthiest thing you could possibly put in your body. <laughs> Yo, your personal trainer, your doctor, oh, just have plain white rice. Plain white rice. You want to have your plain white rice. Telling you is you want to have your plain acid. There's two sides of chemistry. There's a alkaline side and there's an acid side. Simple chemistry. Any chemist knows acid kills and destroys. Alkaline repairs and rebuilds. Simple chemistry with anything, not the human body, with anything. Right? You pour acid on something, it eats it up. <laughs> Simple chemistry. Your organic does not mean it is healthy at all. That's almost nothing. The fact that people think there's almost nothing you can eat, that's the sad part. So I do my best to educate you all. Because I be eating good, I be eating all day. Not all day, because that's another problem. People think you have to eat all day. If you don't feel stuffed to the max, you think you're not <laughs> eating enough. That is the sad part. Because when, when you were in your mother's womb, guess how often you were eating? About every four hours. About every four hours, you eat about 7 a.m., 12, and about 4. That's it. Three times a day when you're in your mother's womb. And you're eating off of the ambiotic fluid, which the ambiotic fluid actually has a taste to it. So when you're eating acidic, mucus-forming foods and you're pregnant, and you're conceiving your child, they actually taste mucus and acid, right? Then your child comes out with a disability or a birth defect, and you assume God just said, well, let's sprinkle this one with bad genetics. Let's sprinkle this one with a birth defect. No. You sprinkled it with cupcakes covered in sprinkles. That's what happened. And then now you want to blame God. But any other time, God's your favorite thing in the universe, right? God's the most amazing thing in the universe. But any time you have a health issue, you got bad genetics. So that would mean if you have bad genetics, God's the most amazing thing in this universe to you. God gave you bad genetics, so how could he be the most amazing thing in this universe? Which would mean that you wouldn't think that. So that would mean you would have to think, I would hope that you played a factor in the genetics because you were eating genetically modified food 
while conceiving the new genetics of this baby being formed into this new planet. Makes sense a little bit. Maybe. Maybe I'm crazy. I, I don't know. I don't know. Because what happens, you ever seen them like trying to breed? I don't know. They do them weird scientific things, right? Where they breed a monkey with a pig or they breed a pig with a cow. And then the baby comes out. It has a, it's a cyclops and it has a third leg, right? Because they're making a hybrid, right? So if you're conceiving a child and you're eating hybrid foods, genetically modified foods, wouldn't you think it would modify the genes and maybe your child will come out with a disability as if the same thing as a hybrid creature that they try to create does? And now your child looks much different than a normal child, kind of like a hybrid creature they try to make looks much different than a normal creature. I don't try to offend. I just try to keep it real. <laughs> it only makes sense. It's only simple math. It's only simple math. One plus one always equals two. Now I'm talking crazy. Yeah, I'm crazy though. It's simple math. There's nothing crazy about it. <laughs> Think you can just put whatever you want in your system while you're growing a human. <laughs> When the human comes out with an issue, you just, oh, bad genes. God said, sprinkle bad genes on this one. Yeah, I know they've been super excited for this newborn to come out. I know they've been super excited. But you know what? I'm going to bust the bubble in their excitement. This one's got bad genes. Sounds crazy, right? Why would that be the case? <laughs> it's not the case. What alkaline protein bars do you recommend? I do not recommend an alkaline protein bar. I don't know where you think you're finding an alkaline protein bar. Hmm. Yes, your thyroid can be fixed. See, I just wanted to get in here for like 10 minutes and I'm not even as hype as usual. I'm very calm because I'm at my brother's. I'm on the other side of the country where I'm usually at and he works from home. So I'm down in the basement right now, thin walls. So I'm trying to keep my voice down so he can work. <laughs> Cause I'm trying not to slap like I normally do and get really passionate about this stuff. I'm calm, cool, and collective today. So yeah, you can heal naturally. You can definitely heal naturally. People's kids are born with defects and they blame God. Facts. So yeah, just wanted to go in on some topics. I'm still I'm just glancing through comments right now. Just glancing through comments. And it's funny, the same people that will comment on my video and say, Don't recommend this. Don't say that you can help with type one diabetes. I see some of y'all them same faces because I glanced through will come in here and ask me questions that they want me to personally answer for them. But meanwhile, they're going on my profile publicly and telling me I don't know what I'm talking about. But then you come in my life <laughs> and you want me to answer your question directly to help you improve your health. But you on my comment section had so much confidence in the doctors. And because I'm not a doctor, I don't know what I'm talking about. But you're coming to me for your specific illness in my comment section and I should take one-on-one -on -one time out of my time <laughs> to help you who bash me. <laughs> this is the sick mindset I'll be thinking, I'll be seeing. I'll pass on your question. Great. Let's see. I did a video on thyroids. I have clients right now that I'm working with few of them who came to me with hyperthyroidism, dealing with thyroid issues for a while. We knocking that out. That's the one-on-one. -on -one. 
disease consultation program. Link is in the bio. Anything you need from me, link in the bio. A lot of you asking, what can you eat? I got an alkaline recipe book, 40 plus recipes and grocery list. So you know what to shop for. Now you know what to eat. Link is in the bio. Detox and reset program to detox your cells, detox your blood, detox your kidney, detox your pancreas, detox your entire body. Remove the negative things before we start adding the positive things. Links in the bio, right? Custom coaching, 40 for one month, 80 for three months, so you get a whole month free. Links in the bio, but the one-on-one disease consultation is separate from that. That one we get really, really specific for really, really specific things that need a lot more detail and attention, right? Melon Mama, I have fibromyalgia and I'd love to join your program. Great. Message me or click the link in the bio. Have it to you within five business days. Once I gather your goals, get real detailed so we can figure out what's going on so we can knock it out because it's got to be customized. A lot of you will ask questions in here. What about this? What about that? I can give you specific things, but it's going to be different for every person depending on how long you've had it, how severe it is, what your symptoms may be, right? What injuries you have? Are you working out at the gym? Are you working out at home? Do you got a back issue? Do you got a knee issue? Are you allergic to apples? Are you allergic to whatever? It's got to be custom to you. This is the problem. A lot of you in here, you want to lose weight. You want to improve your health. And you're just freestyling. You find your favorite Instagram over here. You find your favorite TikTok over here. Well, he said this, so I'm going to grab that piece. She said that, I'm going to grab that piece. He said this, I'm going to grab that piece. I'm just going to twist them and mush them together. Cross my fingers and hope it works for me. Three months later, man, three months and I ain't getting no results. It's because you're just mashing up a bunch of things, right? Like how they be mashing up a bunch of food. What is that thing I keep seeing promoted? The KFC bowl where they done mash the fried chicken and the corn and the mashed potatoes and the gravy all together in the one. <laughs> That's what y'all doing with your personal training, with your game plan like you need a game plan you're just making a kfc bowl with your game plan just throwing it in your mouth and wondering why you're not getting healthy because <laughs> you're eating a kfc bowl every day <laughs> it's really not funny i just laugh it off because it's sad it's really sad so i do my best to help but people want to tear me down and get my video deleted and banned i've been getting the video deleted off here like once a week so it's only a matter of time. If I keep getting the video deleted once a week, it's only a matter of time before my page gets taken down, right? That's why I be telling y'all, go to my YouTube, go to my Instagram, same name on both. I re-upload all these lives. So if you want to take notes, you want to re-watch them in slow-mo, they're there for you. YouTube.com, T Walk the Hawk. Yeah, home, homemade walnut milk. I must have missed the question. I see the response from someone. Make your own milk. Stop dealing with that radiated, bacteria-filled cow pus. Because that's what your milk is. A mile three times a week help with diabetes. You can run... 20 miles, seven times a week. If you're not changing your diet and getting rid of the foods that are called, that cause the diabetes, doesn't matter. I need help choosing between your programs. I'm in between the 30 day detox and the healing one-on-one. If you're dealing with something you wanna get knocked out specifically, you want the one-on-one -on -one consultation. That's where you get all the details, the measurements, the milligrams, the IUs, of the amino acids, of the vitamins, of the minerals, what herbs to take, how to mix them, how to make them, fasting protocol. So you're getting the detox in that because anytime you're dealing with anything specific, we have to detox and cleanse the body, get rid of the negative things before we add the positive things. So Iris, you would want to go with the one-on-one -on -one healing consultation for that one. Got your program I'll be starting next week. 
Look forward to the results. Post client testimonials daily for the last five months straight. Every single day, haven't missed a day, five months straight. When I get off of here, I'm posting some testimonials because I got so many backed up in my gallery on my phone that I'd be forgetting to post. So I wake up every morning to testimonials through my TikTok DM, my Instagram DM, my email. Lost five pounds, lost 10 pounds. Blood pressure's down. Went to a doctor's appointment. Cholesterol's down. Went to the doctor's. Can't find diabetes anymore. Went to the doctor's. No longer have internal cysts. Back to having sex again. Back to having morning wood again. Like These are the testimonials. You can go to my Instagram. I have like 500 plus testimonials on there. You can read through them. Hmm. Let's see. I'm just scrolling through comments, but I'm about to get off. I got to um, get some work done, and I'm technically on vacation. I went from uh, Los Angeles to West Virginia overnight to visit family for the next week or two. So I'm out here in West Virginia, and I didn't even sleep. So I stayed up all day yesterday. My flight was from 12 at midnight till 7 in the morning. Didn't sleep on the plane. Got right here. Been up since then. And I still have tons of energy. I don't even feel tired. Why? Because I'm eating foods to give my body energy. Not dead foods. And you're wondering why you're feeling dead. Come to San Diego. I haven't been to San Diego yet. I'm in the Beverly Hills area. Iris. How do you get to my bio? You search my profile, T-Walk Dog Fitness. Click my profile and you'll see the little link right below it. No, whoever recommended molasses for cancer, never, would never recommend molasses to heal anything. <laughs> Please stop dealing with molasses. Yes, do I do a lot of study? That's all I do is study. If I'm not talking to y'all, I'm reading. If I'm not reading, I'm listening. If I'm not, this is what I do. I don't leave town without a couple books on me on holistic health. Gotta have holistic health books on me. It's what I do in my free time. When I go on my runs, I'm listening to lectures. I'm taught by people who've been healing people for decades, taught directly by them, some lesser known people. And I decided I'm gonna get the information out there. I'm gonna get a big following and get more people the information. Some people like to stay low key with it. I'm like, nah, we going in. Thanks for the follow, thanks for the support. Nah, I've never been to Charlotte. But everything I do is online. A lot of you will DM me, where are you located? Where are you located? Where are you located? It doesn't matter because I don't do um, in-person training or anything like that. I get way more out of it by doing online coaching because I'm able to help way more people in way more areas of the world. I have clients in like every continent now, I believe which I can never do with doing in-person coaching, right? <laughs> with in-person coaching, I'm limited to, all right, I gotta get this person an hour. Then I gotta get this person an hour. Now by the ninth hour of working, I'm tired versus I can do this all day. I can hop on my laptop, send out plans. I can hop on live, I can message, I can email, I can do all this from my phone and be on the move. While I'm on the plane, I can be writing up plans. That's what I did on the plane, getting plans ready for my clients. I got some phone consultations I got to schedule for tomorrow. Um, I'm about to get off here, send out some plans for my clients. And this is, va this is vacation. <laughs> this is me visiting my family for like 10, 10, 15 days, depending on how long I want to stay. Right? So this is how I spend my vacation. <laughs> 
even when I was in Mexico, what, like last month or so ago, sending out plans, knocking things out to make sure y'all good. Yes, sea moss is good. Make sure it's real sea moss. If it has sea salt in the bag, it's not real sea moss. If it's really thick and clumpy looking, it's not real sea moss. Again, at the bottom of the bag has sea salt in it, it's not real sea moss. Coffee's horrible. Strips your body of all the important minerals, weakens your immune system. Worst thing you can do right now, because most of you are worried about your immune system because of this thing that's going around. So, but yet so many people, I see the coffee lines at the coffee shops here in LA and even here in West Virginia since I've been here, super packed. But yet so many people have their mask on and are scared of getting sick as they're in line to kill their immune system because that's what the coffee's doing. You got your mask on to protect your respiratory system because that's what the virus is. A respiratory virus but meanwhile the mask is damaging your respiratory system because when you exhale you're exhaling toxins but you're exhaling them into a mask so they're going back in so you're damaging your respiratory system and you're in line to get coffee which is stripping your body of all the important minerals while you have your mask on <laughs> and that's weakening your immune system but you're scared for your safety from this virus, so, so backwards. So, so backwards. Very, very backwards. But yeah, let me get off here my brothers with my nephew. Maybe spend some time with him. Beat him in 2K real quick or something. And I need to drink a water. I always get on these lives and start talking. I ain't even got my water on me. It is cold here in West Virginia. See, it's like 70 and sunny every day and 70 and sunny every day in, in uh, Cali. West Virginia, it is country roads take me home, 30 degrees. There was a bunch of real cardinals. That's a fake cardinal, of course. It's like a bird feeder, but there was a bunch of real ones on the trees earlier and then there was like Dirty deer right there, walking through. They ain't out there no more. Coffee in any way. I don't care if you're drinking it. I don't care if you're taking it up your butt. It doesn't matter. <laughs> the coffee's still going in your body and it's still doing the same thing. No, I did not get the shot. But let me get off because I'm going to keep seeing comments and I'm going to go all day. So, yeah, anything you need, link is in the bio. Detox and reset plan. That's 35 That's about a dollar a day. Alkaline recipe book for those of you like, what do you eat? Recipe book plus grocery list, 40 plus recipes. Custom coaching, 40 for one month. The special I'm running is 80 for three months, so you get a whole month free based on you, your specific goals, your starting point, whatever it is. Whether you work out at the gym or not, doesn't matter. Whether you're allergic to this food or not, whether you got injuries or not, whether you're 60, whether you're 18, it doesn't matter. Whether you're trying to get in shape to make your basketball team or whether you're trying to be able to walk upstairs again, it doesn't matter. It's based on you. And then the one-on-one -on -one disease healing consultation. That's for if you're dealing with something super specific so we can get super specific to knock it out, right? And that's what that's when you get the phone calls with me, our phone call, you get my personal number, text me, call me whenever you need. You speak to me, not no assistant. You speak to me personally. And I put together a detailed plan for you, which I have to you within three to five business days. Get you on the right track, feeling like yourself again. So, yeah, and if you want the replay of this, anytime you miss my lives, if you're just joining, go to youtube.com slash twalkthehawk, spelled exactly the same, or just search twalkthehawk on YouTube. It'll pop right up. Same thing on Instagram. Instagram's where I post client testimonials daily. I'm going to post some this evening. Client testimonials daily for five months straight. 
I don't know any bosses doing that. But hey, all that matters is that we doing it and that we is getting those results and you is improving your health. All right. Allergies, I did a video on allergies. I'll let you later.